Once you've fit everything together, you've checked everything, uh, just do a few checks with your two frames. Obviously, frame B needs to fit inside frame A. So just check that that's all nice. Check that everything is square. So we can, again, using your square inside of the, each of these corners. Okay. You can also do the measuring trick. So measure with your tape from corner to corner and just ensure that the measurement is the same both ways. That's good. From here, so also just inspect, make sure every joint, so every mortise and tenon, the end grain is, is at least, if not flush, it's sticking up past the face that we have there. So the bridle joints as well. So all of them inspect everything before we, we, we move on. Okay. And then, so working one frame at a time, place your work in the vise. Grab a sanding block. and some sandpaper. So we have two different pieces of sandpaper here. They look the same, however, they are a different grit. So the grit is a reference to how coarse the sandpaper is. So the first grit of sandpaper we want to use is the 80 grit. That's more coarse. It will take off more material. It will, it will sand through this a lot quicker. Okay, however, it leaves scratch marks on our surface of our timber there. So that's where we move on to our 120 grit sandpaper and that starts to smoothen out the timber. When you are sanding, so we place it firmly in the vise, two hands on our sand block, wrap the sandpaper around your sanding block and then always sand in the direction of the grain. Okay, and sanding this nice and even until we remove any, any marks, any stains, and any pencil marks. Okay, so I want to get every pencil mark off. So up here, it is important to sand before you glue this together. So once the frame is together, it's very difficult to get into some of these tight, these tight corners with the sandpaper. So get all your pencil marks off before we glue it together. So each face, you're going to be quality control. And then, so I'll go around and sand my edges and the other face. And you also need to sand an arras on every sharp corner that we have there. So an arras, you don't have to sand too much, it's just basically one, two, and now we don't have that sharp edge anymore. And do that all the way around. <laughs> 